What's going on guys? Mega Geek back with another video, back with our High Elves Let's Play in Total War Warhammer 2. And uh, we didn't finish the turn last time, but uh, we've got a couple things to do here. We've got a building upgrade, we've got a couple building upgrades, and um, let's see what we can get. Um, I don't really want to do any of that stuff, so what's this? This is going to give us the Chariot and the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower, which would actually be really nice. I think we have both of those over here, don't we? Or we have we have that over there. Uh, it'd be nice to have it all in one place. Untainted six, we don't really need that. We don't really need any of these other things. Uh, I guess I could go for um, for a grove. Uh, I mean, I can technically put it other places, but I'll go ahead and do that there for now. That way, we'll have have one and we've got more building upgrades. Oh, those are there. We'll go ahead and skip those. Uh, yeah, Alistar here was uh, hanging out recruiting more units and uh, he's going to be quite expensive but he's going to come over here. We're going to force march him over here to deal with uh, scaling and uh, and then Tyrion, he just took White Peak so he is kind of replenishing up. Kind of, sort of, a little bit. We don't really need this guy anymore. He's not doing a whole lot for public order. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Let me see. Once we get this built up, we'll build a public order building. We actually kind of need to do that now. Uh, well, we should be okay here. Let's get rid of this... Uh, this watchtower and we'll put a public order building there and that should get us uh, what's actually causing the public order events oh that's right the confederation yes uh, and that's only for three more turns we'll actually leave that yeah there we go and let me see yeah we don't want to build any of these what is this let's see real quick ah hero recruitment rank for nobles up three that is actually really nice and it gives us the capacity to have one more noble and gives us 20 percent bonus on our income from entertainment buildings as well and then this just gives public order uh, and income which we don't really need we do need the income of course but uh, let's go ahead and end it there let me see uh, Hexatoll is at two turns Nagarons at three Clan Moors at five we weren't going to worry too much about them for now. Um, yeah, once we get around the third or fourth one, uh, we should be built up enough where we can send in some good interventions. So let's go ahead and end the turn and see what we can get into. And who's moving over there? Yeah, we need to click fast forward so it doesn't show all the movements. It'll only show the ones that really pertain to us which is really all we want to see. It makes the end turns a little bit faster too. And scaling still not attacking. Income minus a thousand per turn now. Yeah, uh, we got kind of expensive over here. We might have actually recruited a few too many units, more than we need. Uh, let's see, let's see. We don't really need all these Lothar and Sea Guards, I guess, do we? And we don't really need all those archers. Because oh, nice. I think we're going to be able to handle these guys okay. We're still waiting for them to attack nice. us. So let's see if we can't save us some money. There's 500. There's 660. Let's see. I know I just recruited all those last turn. I feel kind of stupid for now disbanding them. But uh, this is a decent sized force here. And unfortunately, we just can't afford it right now. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade Vol's Anvil. That'll give us uh, that'll give us three construction slots. So just give us one more. But um, yeah, we definitely want this place to be safe. And we built a royal garrison over here in case they want to come through. In case they do come through. And let's see what Tyrion is up to. Uh, we are not at war with Illyrian. We are at war with uh, 
with Tyrannoch. And so we're going to need to go out there to get to him. White Peak. Let's let our public order stabilize for maybe one more turn. Just get us a little bit of a buffer, and then we'll move Tyrion out to here. Now let's see what else they own. Let's just look at the campaign map here. So this is basically all they own, so we don't have too far to go. And yeah, they don't want peace. Let's go ahead and check our diplomacy, see if we can get anything good. We're improving with Knights of the Flame. Trade would be really handy. All right. 952. That is great. And Thegan's Irantri would also you know be good. It's about These half, but it is still right more than we're making. Us. Nice. Very nice. What about the Stragos Empire? I wonder if um, if that's kind of like the Strigoi from the, the show The Strain. And maybe the Strigoi, maybe Strigoi is actually from something else, too, and I don't know. But All right. Well, we got trade from two new ones. Got our uh, income up to 978. That would have actually broke us even on this army. <laughs> That's okay. This should be more than enough uh, because we do still have two Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers here and lots of range stuff too. So, so yeah, it should be more than enough. Um, and uh, let me see. We don't have any sacred islands. We do have one way out here. Bell Cargo. That's kind of a ways away. Let's go ahead and end the turn. And we had a couple pretty good battles on the last episode. I don't know if we'll get a battle on this one or not. Only time will tell. And they want me to join war again against uh, an undiscovered faction that I don't know. And they're not going to give me anything for it. Yeah, no, I don't want to go to war with them. I don't even know who they are. Stop asking me. I'll declare war on you in a minute if if I have to. And is this our last turn on the Confederation, or do we have one more? And it looks like we have one more. And scaling is just going to uh, hold out on us. But we're going to go ahead and... Could plop him in the air, but I think I'm going to go ahead and send him over here. I don't know if we can reach. We can get in range to reinforce and then uh, get rid of these guys. It's actually pretty close to in our favor. Does it say? It doesn't say how many turns until I forfeit it. Oh, yes, it does. Above, above their head, it says six turns before surrender, which means we're probably pretty close to taking attrition which isn't good. So we can build an upgrade. Uh, yeah, that's going to give us a little more income. We'll go ahead and do that. And we let our public order stabilize a little bit here. And uh, Tor and Rock is actually a major settlement, which is going to give us some gold, too. Very nice. So we're going to go ahead and move out. Yeah, we're going to have to go in the water. Oh, wow, they are under siege by Karand Kar. Let's see who they are. They are Dark Elves. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, let's force march over there. And, wow, that didn't get us very far, did it? <laughs> Not very far at all. Well, if we have to fight this Dark Elf army, we will. We'll uh, fight them and take them out, and then we'll take Tor and Rock. Tor and Rock. Tor and Rock owned by Tor Anok. Or Tyr Anok. I don't know. They don't have much of a garrison. I don't know why the Dark Elves haven't taken that yet. Let's go ahead and end the turn and see what happens. Opposing ritual completed. Unfortunately. Hero of Prognostication. No big deal. It's just the first. Um, oh, darn. They did take it too. That's unfortunate. Well, we won it, so we're going to go ahead and head over there. Public order plus true, or plus two, plus true. Uh, yeah, we don't really have anything we can equip to him that's super good. Um, while we're thinking about equipables, though, let's check real fast and see if we've got anything good lately we can put on... Um, 
on these guys. I think he's got all pretty good stuff. Let's see what we can put on our noble. Do we have anything? She does have a great eagle now. Um, no, she's got pretty good stuff, really. What about our mage? Whoops, wrong one. Uh, potion of healing? Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Let's see, what does uh, Jornator have? Dragon Horn. Uh, Vortex. And let's actually give the Vortex to her since she's our mage. And, uh, and Tyrion can have the Potion of Healing. That way when he gets in battle, if he's taking some damage, he can heal up. And Athenor is... Is this Athenor here? This is indeed Athenor. He doesn't need anything right now. So we're going to take take that armor from him. Uh, that's not the one. Here it is. Actually, let's take... Let's take that, and then we'll give... Jornader the armor with the physical resistance, because she's going to be in battle. Alright. Now, they shouldn't have much of a Champion garrison. Yeah, so we'll just... Uh, let's go ahead and declare war. Illyrian will join us. And yeah, we can't do anything there. Maybe they'll attack us. We do have a full stack. They do not. We also have two heroes. So, um... So yeah. Let's see. Unaskind skill point. Who is it? Ah. Jornator. We'll go ahead and give him public order because uh, this place does need some public order. Of course, our confederation thing is gone, which is nice. Um, I'm listening. Welcome to the I don't really want to confederate with anyone else right now, but I wouldn't mind checking to see if anyone might accept. Of the Beholds, the majesty of oh, the wow. Court. Really? Now, oh, they'll almost accept. And look at all the land they own. That would give me so much. Ooh, what about... Uh, Speak. Who's this? Time is precious, so please Gilgalian. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's... Wait, who owns this? He's out there. Who owns this? Ah. My the Scourge of Cain. Oh, Oh, man, if I confederate with them, can I confederate with them? I would actually be okay with confederating with them right now. That would deal, that would uh, almost give me this entire island um, of Avalorn. Um, well, not almost. It would give me about half, I guess. But I would also be able to take this army and take that and get another thing to produce the scrolls. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's see if they'll join a confederation with us. It's going to give us public order. Um, I'll pay for it, because that's a lot. It's going to give us public order penalties, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's see. Can we just pay a 1000 for it? No? I'm willing to pay for this. Come on, guys. I'll, I'll give you all my monies. Oh, they won't do it. Oh, come on. Let's hear it. Any chance I can get a little more money uh, as like a gift? Any chance you guys will just give me a gift? No. Illyrians? Eh. Darn, maybe next turn. Maybe next turn. Because I would love to confederate with them and then be able to take this and uh, be able to get more way fragments. Unfortunately, I don't have the money. Yes. Will anyone else give me any money? Is there anything I can do? Oh, they gave me a little bit of money. How about Knights of the Flame? Any chance they'll give me any? No. Is there anyone that they wouldn't mind I go to war with? I'll go to war with them. If you pay me... 500... 700... Offer payment... No, that's not what I want. Join war against them for 500. Just so. All right. And Our then what about these guys? Are they at war with anyone? No. 
maybe they'll give me a gift. No. Uh, well, we've got a little more money. Let's see Defend if Illyrian will confederate with us now. That would be that would be nice. We'll give them all we can, and if they still don't do it, Misguided. nope. Then uh, we'll wait till the next turn and try and do it again. Uh, we have a building upgrade available, but I do want to save my money, so we're gonna skip that. And Lord not moved. Um, I don't think coming in like this he'll be in reinforcement range. Oh, he will. Can we? Oh, we can auto this now easily. Get rid of them. Yeah, there we go. Let's replenish the units. And get rid of them. And now we're making... Oh, we got even more money from the battle guys. <laughs> and actually, we can probably fight these guys here and just auto this and get rid of them. Yes, we have so much money now. We're going to get that confederation. I want it. What are these guys doing here? They're just a rogue army. They are aggressive. They don't really have anything. Uh, they are a dark elves army. Alright, let's uh, let's see here. Let's give some public order. And we've got a building upgrade available. It's still giving us that over there. We don't want that. Alright, we've got lots of money now. Let's see if we can't get uh, get Illyrian to Defend confederate with us. That would just be fantastic. Welcome, fellow Asa. What would you wish to discuss? All right, so let's offer. We were given three thousand last time. Uh, this is a little bit more, so we'll just try it real I quick. Do nope. This. I don't want to spend more than I have to. So let's go up to forty-two. No. Nope. I don't want to throw all my money on the table because then I'll be out of money. I think not. They've got to be close. What about 6,000? 6,600? 6, oh, they did it! Yeah! And we got influence. Nice! Uh, oh, and now we can trade with uh, with these guys. Wow, and they'll actually give us some income, too. Trade, and how about you pay me? Uh, that's not very much. I'd almost rather have a military alliance with them for now. Um... Let's just take the trade. We'll be friendly with them. And now that opens up trade with the Deadwood Sentinels, possibly. No, they don't want anything from us. Alright, quest successful. Nice. 20 way fragments, 1500 treasury, influence plus 20. And, oh, we've got a quest battle. Win the following battle with Tyrion's army. All right, we're not going to do that right now because we're not in a position to... Wow, look at all these places. We're not in a position to uh, replenish after the battle. So we're going to take this. We'll replenish up then. And then in a few turns, in the next part maybe, we'll uh, teleport to do that quest battle. All right, we got all this. We did inherit um, quite a lot of... Uh, of stuff that's that's costing us a lot of money so we're gonna have to see what we've got Nagara, oh, yes, yeah but we creature. we're friendly with them all right so we're gonna use this army oh no we're in forced march we can't what do we got here though let's go with public order again uh, we'll take this next turn we can't get rid let's see where the shrine of pain is uh, or the Scourge of Cain, right? That's it. That's all they have. All right, so we don't have to worry about them too much. And what is their garrison like? Their garrison is not much. So we can get rid of uh, a couple of these kind of expensive units. Let's get rid of one more cavalry unit. And this should still be enough. That saved us a little money. And... Did we inherit another army somewhere that we can get rid of? Oh, we did. Wow. A giant army here. Uh, we can actually use them to take this and then get rid of them. 
Oh, wow. That's uh, actually interesting. Oh, and we can't find it because we don't have... Oh, man, because we don't have uh, any siege towers. And it's not going to let us just climb the walls, I guess? Interesting. Why not? Let's see what the the terrain looks like. Yeah, it is battles. Uh huh. It's interesting that it won't just let us climb the walls. Well, we'll get one thing of siege towers. Um, we'll wait one turn. Unfortunately, that means we have to figure out somewhere else to get rid of uh, an army. I guess we can get rid of this army. We don't really need them anymore. Um, and we can combine these guys up for now. The greater good has triumphed. Um, yeah, these guys are really expensive. Let's get rid of the silver helms. Let's actually just get rid of this entire army. All right, that saved us quite a bit. And getting rid of this guy would actually save us, too. We don't really need him right now. Let's get rid of him. And let's force march into there. Get the public order going. And we do have a commandment available. Ah, we captured one of the untainted. Unit experience. Growth. We don't really need growth there. Yeah, let's go with that. But we do need some public order, and I don't think there's any public order buildings here. Uh, we've got the Confederation events, so not too bad. Uh, they won't rebel for eight turns, or for 13 turns, and this only lasts for five turns. So we'll be okay there. Um, we don't... These guys, how long have they got? Uh, they'll rebel at 11 turns. Let's see how they do without him. Minus eight, seven turns. That one would be close. So let's leave him in there. Can I offer assistance? Uh, we've got another commandment available. We're going to go with income. Income, income, income everywhere. Because we do need that income. Uh, we could use growth here, but... Uh, let's see, let's see. Are we at war with... Uh, diplomatic status, attitude... Oh, they don't like me. Interesting. We're at war with... Scaling is right there, so we're going to send Alistar up over there. And then we are busy over here. Yeah, uh, we'll worry about that gate later. Or no, the gate we own. We'll worry about these guys later. Uh, unfortunately, they are going to build up. Uh, I'm pretty close on money, actually. I'm actually pretty close, so I may just leave it there. And, uh, yeah, we're going to come get scaling here in a minute. Uh, or in a minute in, in uh, video game time. I think it's okay to lose a little bit of money because we're going to get those uh, commandments. We've got another one. We're going to get these commandments activated and... Uh, that will be giving us more income next time as well. Let's see. These guys don't like us. They're unfriendly. They don't like that we confederated. But to try and keep them from going to war, I might give them a slight gift. And, uh, and then now we're still deteriorating, but because of the gifts given, they shouldn't go to war with us anytime in the near future. Once I take this, I'll be able to bring everything back together and secure this. Um, so yeah, we shall we shall see. Uh, and we got damaged buildings. Let's go ahead and repair that. And building upgrade. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We don't need all these military buildings though. The city is all over the place because these walls will kind of be uh, like military hubs if you will so we can get rid of 
Get rid of military buildings there. I'm going to keep the ones that I have over here for now. Um, yeah, I might keep the ones I have here for now. And in here we'll get rid of the military buildings. We don't really need them either. And that is going to do it. So I think that's a pretty good stopping place, guys. Uh, next time, next turn, we will take this. Uh, we'll take this. This will probably be... No, this won't be an auto-resolve. Either this, so we're going to have a lot of battles to fight next time, guys. Um, we're going to have... I actually don't think we had any battles this time, did we? So next time we're going to have three battles. Uh, this is probably going to be a siege battle. This is definitely going to be a siege battle. Um, and this will probably just auto. We'll, we'll see what it says. So, uh, And we are garrisoned here. Are we... We're not garrisoned. Let's get garrisoned. So, yeah. So, that shall do it. We own a lot of these gates now. And, uh, yeah, that confederation was just fantastic. Because I didn't really want to go to war with them and get all untrustworthy and everything. So, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this campaign-focused part. Uh, sorry, there wasn't really any battles. Uh, but, yeah, we do have some battles lined up for next time, so stay tuned till then. If you like the video, leave a like and a comment, guys. Remember, you can leave name suggestions in the comments for different units. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you guys for watching. More good stuff to come. Take care.